couple of local swimmers are counting down to a trip of a lifetime. They're about to head south of the border to compete against the best the world has to offer. ABC 2 News' Sean Stepner is here now with more. Sean? Yeah, you know, Jamie, we're talking about the Para World Swimming Championships. And you know, anytime we talk about elite swimming, you know our area is going to be involved. And this year, Baltimore is once again represented on Team USA. It's amazing. Like, two kids from a small Division three school in Western Maryland, they're going to the World Championships. I don't think that's ever happened or may ever happen again. To be part of that is pretty awesome. Mount Airy native Zach Shattuck and Baltimore's Connor Giafrida, two of our country's best swimmers. Both swim at Frostburg State. Both have dwarfism and will be representing the United States at the Para Swimming World Championships next month in Mexico City. Getting to represent Maryland, like it's my state, I love my state, and then to get to represent your country too at these games, it's, I don't know, it's a great feeling. It's just an honor to represent the red, white, and blue. I hope to like do well for my country. I hope to bring back a medal. Both 21-year-old Zach and 18-year-old Connor have competed internationally before, but this will be the biggest meet of their lives. For opening ceremony, I'm just going to be like, wow, like I'm here now, like I trained for this. It'll be breathtaking, honestly. You'll walk out and you'll just be like starstruck in the atmosphere. The duo is just the latest in a long line of Paralympic swimmers from Baltimore, joining names like Jessica Long, Becca Myers, and Brad Snyder, just to name a few. It's clear our area is leading the way in developing para-athletes for the pool. Now Connor and Zach get their chance on the grand stage. And they have a message for anyone who aspires to be great, just like them. Go do it. Just, you just have to put in the effort, put in the dedication, and you'll be, like, you'll be the best in the world if you do that. And I think that if people, average size, dwarf, whatever, amputee, Paralympic swimmer, just an athlete in general, if you're striving to achieve something or you have a goal in mind, then go for it. You just got to go all out and make the best of it. That's right. Zach and Connor are scheduled to leave this weekend for Colorado Springs to meet the rest of their American teammates before heading to Mexico City next week. The opening ceremonies are scheduled for September 30th. Jamie, this all, of Truth. course, could change after today's events in Mexico City, that massive earthquake. A call to U.S. Paralympics was not immediately returned tonight, but you have to think there are conversations going on to see whether they will still go or participate or the games will even be held yeah. if the you know if the buildings and the structures are safe enough to hold them at this moment unbelievable yeah. have you seen that the buildings are collapsing right. amazing so, uh, heartbreaking video and it's a, september the 30th is supposed to be the day right the opening ceremonies Gee, yes so a couple uh, weeks away all right thank you sean yeah you got it